Hi parents of my hybrid kiddos. I wanted to take some time to show you how to um, look at all of the math material weekly and then also how to get on um, your kiddos homework. Um, I know they're probably asking you questions and it's hard for you to be able to answer questions when you're at home if you don't know this information. Um, so I do want to just take a second to show you every week everything that your child needs will be on Schoology. So um, theirs will look something like this when they open and it could be a little bit overwhelming with all of their different courses but they'll go ahead and go to my math course since they're in my hybrid math class and you'll see here that there's a folder labeled week of September 16th through 22nd so every teacher is pushing every assignment out on Wednesday um, by 9 a.m. so if your kid is on at 7 a.m. and it's not there um, just tell them to be patient it'll be there by 9 I usually try to upload mine pretty early just in case there's any technical issues um, and then they can email me and let me know so they will open this folder, that's this thing where my, my cursor is, that means there's stuff in there. Um, so every week they will get this, and every week the new folder will be at the very top of, um, of their page in my course. So they won't have to scroll, and uh, I mean every single thing they need will be in here. So they will check this um, weekly agenda first, I'll open it in a new tab so it's not um, too confusing. And you'll see here that you can see the topics they're learning, the lessons they're going over the week, and also their learning goal, what they should know by the end of this lesson. Um, there's three different sections, and I have gone over this in every class with your kiddo. So they are aware of this, but um, they do have so much going on with every different class that I understand that there's some confusion. Um, so we have before class. Before class means before they come see me. So I have kiddos on Thursday, Friday, Monday, and Tuesday. Um, so if you're a Thursday kiddo, which we ran into this problem today, you have to have your work done by Thursday for the before class section. That means they're Wednesday. Um, your kiddo is Wednesday. If you have a Thursday kid in my class, they need to complete it on Wednesday to be prepared for Thursday. Um, if they're a Tuesday class, they have a lot more time to do it, um, but that's just kind of how it goes with the hybrid schedule in the different classes. So they will watch my Welcome to Math video. They will um, do the lesson 1-1 Google Slides and 1-1 Notes, as well as the 1-2 Google Slides and 1-2 Notes. Um, right here, every week I'm going to write where you can find these things. So you can find them in the Before Class folder. So if we go back to my folders, there's a Before Class folder. Here's a Welcome to Math video. Here are the Google Slides, and here are the notes. I gave almost every kid a copy of the notes for the first chapter so that um, they did not have to worry about it. They would just write in the notes. Um, but some kids um, missed a day or left early, something like that, or um, they just didn't end up with the notes for some reason. And so if that's the case, they can either um, take these notes right here, where my cursor is 1.1 and 1.2, and they can print them off and um, answer everything on there, or they can just take a look at them on the screen and solve them in their journal. It doesn't matter, but I will be taking notes or taking grades periodically on their notes, um, so I do want to make sure they're filling them out. Um, this is the biggest chunk of the assignment, so um, if we open it here, here was their assignment for this week. So I tried to make it pretty um, cut and dry. They're going to go through this. You can see here what they're doing, and then what do I do? I wrote here, remember, always check your weekly agenda. Um, they're going to go through this entire presentation, watch all videos, and take all notes. Then they'll uh, go back and do their homework. So you can see here, um, this are, these are snips that I'm clicking on um, of their notes. So they technically don't even have to like print out or look at those PDF note sheets, but if you want them, they're there because I, I have everything snipped in here. Um, so they're going to go to this example and then they're going to watch these two videos. So these are videos of me explaining how to do them. Um, I uploaded them on YouTube. So if for some reason I know a kiddo emailed me and said like their screen wasn't getting bigger when they were watching a video, which it would be really hard to watch me do math when it's super tiny. So um, your kid can just, or you can go to YouTube and type in Samantha Woodzak and uh, it will pop up. With that, you'll just go to the correct video. Your kid will go to the correct video. Um, I labeled them pretty specifically. So it'll say something like big ideas, 1.1 um, example one. And that's what these videos are labeled. So if there's an issue with those, let me know. And then they'll complete the try it portion on their own. Um, that's how all of these work. I made a, I'm going to make a video for every example, and um, your kiddo needs, needs, needs to watch these videos. It's, it's my teaching. So when they come to class, it's expected that they have watched these, they know how to do it, or at least have an idea of what we're doing, and then I'll refresh them in class and we'll um, do some activities 
to make sure they have it down. But they do have to do this at home. They have to watch these videos. So you can see once they go through um, the 1.1 notes, they're going to practice. So uh, complete 1.1 homework on big ideas. And I put here how to get to big ideas, but just so you guys um, know, they'll go to the Park Hill portal, they'll click on big ideas, and mine looks a little different than um, your child's, but these are the two assignments. Now, this is a really big thing. So I, I've told your kids this, um, but they might forget. I'm allowing unlimited checks on their homework. So when they type in their answer, um, they'll on the bottom left corner, they can click check, which I would show you, but I don't have access to a student side, um, so I'm sorry about that, but it will say check. They can check it, and it will turn green if it's good, and it'll turn red if it's not. So they have the opportunity to get 100% on every single homework. They just have to go through and check and um, check them all before they turn them in. So if, um, if your child is getting um, ones on homework, because um, it's out of three points, if they're getting a one or a two, um, either they're turning it in late, they're not completing it, or they're not checking checking their work. Um, so I'm hoping everyone can get a hundred on them since they're getting the opportunity to check their work before they turn it in. So if we go back to this, they're going to go ahead and do the same thing on these examples, watch my videos, and then do Big Ideas 1.2. Here, the during class, this is just in-class material. That just means I'm going to provide everything for them in class. All they need to do is to show up finishing this before class material. Um, so maybe ask your child when they have math class um, so that they can uh, maybe put in their planner or write somewhere that this needs to be done before class. And then you can see the after class is the homework. Um, this schedule is really beneficial to follow, but I understand that some kids are at a disadvantage. Um, for example, my Thursday class, uh, the before class, they don't have very much time, but the benefit is that they have a lot of time to do their homework. Um, on the flip side, my Tuesday class only would have Tuesday to do their homework if they waited until after class, but if your child is in a Tuesday class, I've already told them, they can begin their homework as long as they understand what they did on their notes with their Google Slides. So I'm okay with them starting their homework um, before they come to my class, as long as they're good. And I also offer three Zooms. So I offer a Zoom Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And of course, if your kiddo is at school Monday or Friday, they can't come that day, but they can come the other days. And I highly encourage it so that they feel comfortable um, with math this year. You can see I have all these folders here. So the after class has the instructions for homework. Um, I have some optional games and such here, and then I put my Zoom links here so they can go here to um, get on my Zooms. So I hope that helps you. Um, I know that it is hard and confusing to have your child in all these different classes transitioning to middle school and then also having different places to find things. So I hope this helped with math. If you need anything, any help, um, feel free to email me at any time or call my school phone, and I'll be there to help. Thanks, guys.